Okay, race six, the Bavaria handicap hurdle. Over two miles as well. It's a 0 120. Number one, top of the weights is Tim Mind, Carl Arroganti. Second, Lady Godiva for Paul Rose. Three, Battle King for Jim Murray. Jacks Montreal for Darren Thompson is four. Lady Lear for Martin Leedham's five. Jewish Jumpers, Stu Grace six. Frozen Rose Pontypool seven. Exemplus Tam King is eight. Tempe Jules Pontypool is nine. Red Ambition from Kevin and ten. Viking Girl Darren House eleven. Epilaw for Tam King is twelve. Thirteen King Viking Darren House. Fourteen Shallow Carl Arroganti. Fifteen Hung Jabal James Follis along with Herbert. And seventeen is Topsy Turvy for Alex Cherry. Nice big field here over two miles hurdle event oh we've got one that's refused to race there and it's viking girl didn't uh, didn't want to have any of this so bad luck there for darren so you got a bit of a kinky one there so we're all over the first hurdle and it's shallow that leads us and uh, he's got a couple of lengths advantage over the rest we're all just settling down plenty of grays in this event four but we're going to be led by shallow he gets to the second hurdle first they're all up and over it Shallow for Carl Arroganti that leads us by about five. The remainder of the pack that's just being pulled along by Timby Jewels, I think, just by a nose. All pretty well close together there. We go past the grandstand and the finishing post. Shallow that leads us. Quite a long run now to the third hurdle. And it's Shallow that leads by about five. Battle King in second. Then we've got Timby Jewels, Lady Godiva in the white. There's Jewish Jumper in the black silks out. White King Viking. There's a grey on the inside of him. Is Epilor and Exemplus. Two other greys from Tam King. In, in the middle of the pack is Tin Mine, the top weight. And we've got the purple silks of Lady Lilish, Jax Montreal. Towards the rear is Home Jabal, Frozen Rose. But up front, it's still shallow. Leading them inside the final mile and a quarter now. And it's shallow. Leads by a good couple of lengths from out wide. I think that's King Viking. They're all pretty close here, but a few of them are going to go wide, namely the three greys. The other grey in the race is Graham Clutterbuck's Frozen Rose, which is over towards the fence, but up front is still shallow, leading by a couple. Coming out of the pack now is Lady Godiva. Paul Rhodes behind that is Lady Lilith. One's against the fencer Herbert. They're all over the third. A couple of sticky jumps there. It was a long time to get to that third, but the fourth comes up pretty quick. They're all over the fourth. Better jump there by Lady Godiva. Starts to pull alongside Lady, sorry, Shallow. Then we've got Herbert, Tempe Jules, Red Ambition, Tin Mine, Topsy Turvy, Battle King, and Jewish Jumper. They get to the fifth. They're all over it. Slow jump from. Shallow there has lost his lead and Lady Godiva takes up from Tempe Jules and Herbert. So Lady Godiva, Tempe Jules and Herbert and these three are leading from Battle King, Topsy Turvy, King Viking out wide making a move now but it's Tempe Jules that still leads us inside the final five furlongs. They've only got two flights to take and it's Tempe Jules being challenged by King Viking out wide. We've got this bend to come up, Epilor pushing through. As you can see they're going to lose a couple of lengths to Epilor alongside Tempe Jules. These two pull away now from Battle King in third. Third. And everything else is moving. One against the fence. Moving well now is Frozen Rose, but it's still Tembi Jewels. Leads by a length now from Epilor. Frozen Rose pushing through. Battle King. Out wide we've got King Viking, but it's change up front inside the three. It's Frozen Rose that now takes it out for the Pontypool. It's Frozen Rose from Tembi Jewels. Out wide is Jacques Montreal making up good ground. Jewish Jumper trying to push through, but it's Frozen Rose inside the two and a half. They're over the penultimate. It's Frozen Rose from Jacques Montreal. Herbert Tembi Jewels running on Topsy Turvy, Jewish Jumper, Epilor, Red Ambition, but it's Frozen Rose that leads us inside the furlong and a half. Frozen Rose, one flight to get over. He went through the top of it, but he's still got the lead. On the inside is Tempe Jules, on the outside, Shax Montreal, pushing through his Red Ambition. Here comes Epilor, Frozen Rose, Epilor on the outside. Epilor gets up along with Battle King. Frozen Rose goes backwards, Epilor takes it from Battle King in second. Frozen Rose, I think, coming for third. So Epilor takes it for Tam King. Second was Battle King for Jim Murray. Third was Frozen Rose for Pontypool Rosin Racing. Along with uh, fourth was Red Ambition with Kevin Meenahan. And fifth was Tembi Jewels for Pontypool Racing. And that's the Bavaria Handicap Hurdle. Let's move on to race number seven. <laughs>